Lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. Got a little signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Good afternoon, people. Something somewhat different. It's very different. Yeah. Anyway, it's from our friends at Hackney Church Brewing, and it's a table beer. It's called, oh, what is it? The, <laughs> yeah, was, that's what I said. Good luck with Stra that one. Strata, daydream, yeah, daydream, that'll do. Anyway, it's a Hackney Church Brewing. It's in collaboration with some other breweries as well, as you can see on here. And it's a table beer, and it comes in at two point. 8% ABV. Now this one, I can tell you, is one that we thought, mm -mm, especially There's this one. There's a little bit of a story behind this. <clears throat> we went to the tap room. Jacob was like, try the table beer. I'm thinking 2.8. No, nah, you're all right, mate. <laughs> you can you can keep that. I don't, I don't want to try it. And he kept going on with me. Try it, try it. You'd be surprised. Yeah. And he poured a bit for me and I tried it. And I was absolutely blown away. How could a beer at 2.8 actually have so much taste? Yeah, he was. was so, so, um, he knew this product was good. That's why he wanted me to try it. And I tried to, and I was quite shocked myself. And I, it was, it was good though, because obviously, um, it's not something that we're going to be ordering, is it? Um, it's not especially for Michelle on that. But it's always great to try something new. Um, there's a lot coming up with Hackney Church Brewing. We will be doing the collaboration bit upon us getting back. Funny enough, I've actually been talking to, to Jacob only an hour ago. So, yeah, obviously, because we're away now. Uh, well, not now, but, you know, you know what I mean. Very soon. <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> so, yeah, actually, yeah, I don't even know if, you're, if I'll get this one uploaded before we go, will I? But we'll work on that. Anyway, 2.8% ABV. And what this reminded us of, was if you go back to um, the last... New England IPA, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it was... Uh, the one I called Convent, but it co wasn't... Covenant, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, let's get this poured and see what we get. There we are. Look at that. And it's got a bit of go in it, so I can do a picture. Aha. Hey, 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 hey. There is a place in the market for low alcohol and no alcohol beers. They're not my particular favourite. I find a lot of them aren't very good. The taste. Yep. It can be. Oh, you want to be in the background? Oh, in okay. The background, That's nice, yeah. He's giving us an appearance. Um, I'll crop her out. I, <laughs> thank you so much. I just feel that there are there are people that want to drink this style of beer. Well, they're, yeah. They're either driving or they have a reason for not wanting to drink alcohol. So to be able to have a oh, really good that. beer that tastes good but has low alcohol or no alcohol is really it's great. It's got the haziness, isn't it? It has. As you can see, moderate carbonation. Um, and it does have that haziness, doesn't it? It doesn't look quite as good as it could coming through the pump, but then it's not good, is it? We know that as well. So okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's great to do something different and it's great... It, Absolutely smells exactly like I remember because yeah, that's the first thing I do. It's I put it up to my nose to see if it's got that aroma. Yeah. It has that aroma. The full on fruit and the full on yep. hops. Go on, after you. But yeah, it's great. What I like about Jacob as a brewer is he goes and he pushes boundaries. Mm. You know, they've got their core range at Hackney Church, and there is a discount code for them. I will include that in the write up for the video. But what Jacob does, he, he's pushing boundaries all the time. Like, you know, it's a it's a great thing. Mika, uh, um, Ho Tong Yang, mm. he's exactly the same. He's really passionate about what he does. And I think that makes a massive, massive difference. 
they're not just there to make money, they're there to make great beer. They want the beer to and be And they do have the, the, they have the drive, the passion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense good. So, go on then. What are we going to say here? You'll definitely getting the, the, the fruit and the taste as well, aren't you? It blew me away. He knew it as well. It was just like, taste it, taste it. And as soon as I taste it, yeah. I knew that's a really good beer. Even though it's low alcohol, it's really good. Yeah, it, it, as always, you come to it. You come. To, you kind of come to expect it, don't you? I mean, it's it's got it's got the bite, as in the alcohol. Yeah, you can taste that it's not quite received the six point six percent. It's never going to be the same. The same, and obviously, anyone would get that bit, wouldn't it? You do lose a little bit of punch when you take the alcohol out of it. It's always going to be the way. But as long as you still have the flavour, which it does, then you then you still have a good beer. This is a massive amount of flavour, and it does it, it does it, it delivers, doesn't it? It was sort of like I say, had he not suggested it, neither of us two point eight. I mean, I wasn't touching it with a barge. You know how well <laughs> yeah, you know how well we did with dry January. <laughs> we did six days or five days, wasn't it? Yeah, and we fell off on day six. I blame Facebook beer groups for that, and so on. It well, certainly weren't my fault, was it? The tropical flavours in this are just so predominant. You have so much flavour there, so much fruit. Really, really good. No, it's just like, again, it, it's a it's a beer. It's doing its job, and that was a good one for January for, for people, especially cutting down and everything, wasn't it? Obviously, we went to review this a couple of weeks ago, but it got put on the table there, and I totally forgot about, forgot about it. it. <laughs> I thought, ah, Jacob. I must admit, there are some 5% beers that don't have the flavour that this has got. It's it really is holding its own. At 2.8, I, I can't believe that it's got that much flavour. And it still does have, yeah, like you say, you've, you've got your fruit all the way through, haven't you? And it still has a little bite on the end. When your, your hops kick in yeah. right to the end, and you're still getting that. Which is good. You can't. And a great glass, of course. Obviously, with Hackney Church, it's beer for all sorts, even for Michelle. <laughs> yep. But yeah, um, I did, did. it's impossible to rate that, isn't it? Cause you, I'm going to rate it within the low, the no alcohol, low alcohol kind of bracket. So when I think about that, there's very few of them that float my boat. Everyone knows I'm not into them. I don't like them very much. No, no, no. I'm, so, like a, I'm like a low alcohol to Michelle most days. I am going to give it a rate my beer of nine in that oh, bracket. Oh, go along and say the in, same. In that bracket, it, it has so much flavour. It's a good beer. A low alcohol beer with great taste. Can't yeah. go wrong. And not only that, you could sink a few of them without... Acting like a Wally, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, no, it's great to do another one. As I say, exciting things with Hackney Church to come. Um, do check them out. As I say, I'll put a discount code in. Um, you've got your core range. We've reviewed pretty much all of them. I've got to sort that out, actually, the Hackney Church. So I'm going to have them all a playlist just with all of theirs. That would because... be wonderful. And I think with Hackney Church... You're just waiting for something new to come out, so it, so you can be a little bit more well. I've just got the new one now, haven't I? But it's too, it was too late for us. <laughs> I didn't tell you. I, did. I don't know. Oh, I don't I'm going to have to wait ages. I don't it. know if it's can, I don't know if it's canned yet, but I know it's it, it's coming. It's definitely out because I saw um, Hamish's update on Instagram. So what can we say? Uh, thanks for watching. Um, just say something different. You know, we care. Well, Indeed. And um, thanks to Jacob <laughs> and Hamish. Bonjour.